Final race, Pacers at the gate, moving through the turn. Field for tonight's 10th and final race at the gate and moving up. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Baker's legacy between horses takes the lead. Barron's carrier is up on the outside. On the far outside, there goes Max Prince to third. Next in line, Hornblower to fourth. Around the top turn, AP King looking for a seat. Tucson guy, got it. After that comes Jack Lee Gino, midway on the turn, sitting bow is eighth. Racing ninth, Senior Sam, tenth on the outside. Shadwell as they move by the opening quarter in. 28 and one, they're off that top turn and racing past the stands. Max Prince on his throne is there by two. Max Prince leads away, Barron's carrier second. First to flush, coming with a rush, here's Hornblower up on the outside. AP King moves with him, and so does the chestnut favorite Tucson Guy. Around the clubhouse turn, Hornblower under a full head of steam is up to challenge Max Prince. Hornblower goes on by. Hornblower opens up two lengths there at the half. A close second is Max Prince, gap of two lengths in the third. Barron's carrier reaching the half in 57 and three. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch, and as the outer tier forms down, here comes Tucson Guy. He is picking him up and laying him down, quickest of all on the far outside. Hornblower is now going to contend with Tucson Guy, who's on the attack. Nearest the rail, long shot, Max Prince. Moving up on the far outside, Barron's carrier. Miller race track, Jack Lee Gino. Moving by three quarters at 127 and three. They'll pace the turn and come on home. Dan Ader opens up a commanding lead with his mount, Hornblower. Hornblower by five. Tucson guy on the outside, second. Max Prince is third. Baker's legacy closing down the middle of the racetrack. Here's a rocking chair drive. Hornblower is all alone to fight for minor shares. Hornblower on top by 10. Here comes Baker's legacy up on the outside, second. Barron's carrier, third. Max Prince, fourth. Here in 156 and four. Three, Baker's Legacy was second. Number five, Barron's Carrier was third. And six, Max Prince was fourth. Here comes the winner of tonight's 10th and final race. And it is now official. Number one, Hornblower, a six-year-old bay gelding by Seahawk Hanover out of Neat and Tidy. Owned and trained in Thornville, Ohio by Marlon Smith. Catch driven tonight by Dan Ader, covering the mile in 156 and four and a lifetime best. Number one, Hornblower, the winner of tonight's 10th and final race. Folks, there is an all payoff in the Superfecta. There is an all payoff. The late pick three on five, five and one, 121 40. We'll have the payoff here in the all superfecta. It's one three five all five oh one sixty. The exact of forty dollars and eighty cents. One three five all five oh one sixty. Tap down in 10th and final horn blower, the winner. Jack Lee Gino with six, Baker's Legacy second. AP King ninth, Barron's Carrier third, Max Prince fourth. Sitton Bowl was fifth. 